Hello and welcome Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you have Cancer in your chart, this is going to be a September collective general reading for you. So welcoming in. Um, one of the sexiest months of the year because it's all about Cancer. A very healthy new daily routine. It feels like you're clearing away the clutter and you're very committed to your goals. So for some of you Cancerians, welcome and thank you. This reading may not resonate with all of you out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Yeah, I'm just leaving everything the natural way and welcoming in you to the new tree house. So for many of my um, subscribers out there, you know that I was moving. So I'm in Chicago now, Chicago, Illinois. So I'm back home and I made a big change. So all that 8-8 gateway that we were talking about in August, okay? This reading is for my Cancerians out there for September. I call upon the Holy Spirit. I call upon the Divine Light. I call upon our angels, our guides, our ancestors for advice for Cancer for this month of September. So, that doing things by the book kind of an energy I, I was picking up for, for us. Cancer. So if I speak of, it, I'll, I'll use us or I or me. I'm, I'm intuitively got your energy. There we go. So we got taken off on the 1st of September, Cancerian, is when the sun is in Virgo here, we have Venus enters uh, Scorpio. We got um, also focused on earth and air. I'm feeling very fiery right now, energy. There's that three of swords here. It feels like for some of you here, you felt backstabbed about three times here already. You've endured a lot of pain. This is where the change comes in, Cancer, and you're making a big turning point here. Scorpio energy, when Venus, whether you have Venus in your chart or not, I feel that you might have it. I feel that there's a death and rebirth here taking place. I feel September is the month where we'll be doing things here by the book, getting organized with this transformation that you're making here. You are going through a transition at this time here. And you're, it's like Venus is in the underworld. So how you're thinking right now mentally, Three of Swords is also communication. So you're, there's communication here about a big separation, a big ending, something here that's definitely coming up here for a rebirth. So the Three of Swords is wherever the wound is, that's where the healing comes in. So you're changing the way you your mind is, you're changing your mind. And that create, that that goes with the flow here. By changing your mind and capturing your thoughts, this is where you know that there's something here you have to refine. You're revisiting something here that is painful. And it's like a refreshing, a repairing of your heart here. A repairing of your heart here, Cancerian. Um, it feels like this Ten of Cups, it was something that was that was definitely once here. It feels like you're healing a karmic cycle here with someone that was coming back and forth in your life here. For some of you, this person here, Knight of Wands, was like a player. Scorpio is very sexy. It, it's like you got stung. Someone here was venomous. Someone here is, is definitely, it's visiting Venus's end. To, Venus is uh, starting off the month in September. She's going in the underworld. Scorpio is the underworld. And it's like something here is rising from the ashes. Three of Wands. Something that you've been waiting for is coming in. Your ships are arriving. Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is fire. It's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. You have a burning desire here, Cancer. 
Whatever this is, this is coming in from the long hand of God, source creator. There's a new beginning here that's definitely lit. It's like you're carrying the torch here, Cancer. A new beginning. Whoa, -ho -ho, Cancerian. Ace of Wands, you're lit. Ace of Cups. Your patience is rewarded. This is a divine, for some of you, spiritual connection here that's coming into balance in September. This is going to be your overall energy of where September is. There's someone here that you're very attracted to, Cancerian, the both of you are. The both of you have this spiritual, alchemized, alchemical connection that the angels are protecting and guiding. Archangel Raphael is asking you, Cancerian, do you have, are you going to take this path that's being open to you here, something here that's coming in that you've been feeling very defensive about, seven of wands? This is someone here that you have the energy of the high priestess, lots of water, lots of cups being poured to renew this connection. So September is going to ask you, Cancerian, do you have the heart to repair a connection that was broken? A rebuilding, a repairing, a setting of a very core foundation here. Because somebody is coming in to communicate. This person is the person that broke your heart. There could have been a third party situation here. Three of swords, three of of. of Pentacles. They are being clear that what they want to work on, and there's something underneath here, that they've been going back and forth on the decision here, a choice to connect with a sacred union, a sacred bond here. Very much. Someone here that hasn't been speaking. Virgo season here. You've got a Virgo energy. You also got a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. You got a heavy Pisces, you got a heavy um, Cancerian. You already know this. You're in the knowing. There's a lot of secret energy, there's secrets here that are still hidden. This could be you definitely keeping something hidden. Hidden that you weren't ready to show. But you know that there's definitely reciprocity coming in, equal give and take here meeting in the middle here it's like someone here is like it's my way or the highway which way are you going to choose here okay very different imbalanced energies here the high priestess is saying trust your subconscious mind here subconsciously you already know that this is a divine connection you know that there is abundance of love being poured out this is a twin flame connection for some of you here. This is a new love, a new beginning. Something here that you've been patiently awaiting is what I feel is coming in in September. So I'm gonna leave these cards out and we'll go in to this, okay. I'm sorry about the sound, I apologize. You're in touch with nature. This went right in my hand. He wants to stay out. He's not giving up. He's thinking very analytically. This could be your energy or your person, whether it's a he or a she. So your person here is coming in. You have an air sign here that wants to put work into a connection that was broken up. Someone here that is not going to give up, I'm hearing. He's not going to give up. Tell me more about this king. Yeah, Jupiter is asking you here that there's a clearing of karma. There's a karmic reset here. And this is something that's destined. It's like with Jupiter, you could have a Sagittarius of significance here. This person could have fire and air in their chart. Jupiter saying that this has potential here. This is a very spiritual connection that you have here, Cancerian. Sorry. Tell me more. Yes, King of Cups. Somebody here was emotionally unstable, this person here. 
this person here was um, manipulative. They were not showing their emotions, this King of Cups, okay? This could be your energy, Cancerian, or this could be your masculine. So it's like something here was definitely unbalanced. This King of Cups here was selfish, greedy with their, with their feelings here is what I feel. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. I apologize. I keep forgetting that that sound could be very offensive for those of you who, um, with the sound. I apologize. Let me get something here. Okay. Yeah. Someone here was very moody, very um, volatile with their words. Their words were sharp. Tell me more. Tell me more. So you have new love here. Temperance. Yeah. The temperance says three of wands, knight of swords, and ten of cups. Holy tomatoes, Cancerian. You have Mercury um, rushing through September here, going into um, Libra, is what I feel going in. And it feels like the sun is shining on this. Judgment Day. Something's coming back here that you thought was dead and gone, over with. It's rising from the ashes, like I said, Scorpionic. It's coming up here for a rebirth to see if there's something here where you have petty arguments with this person. I feel Nine of Pentacles, for some of you, you're single right now. You're in separation from a marriage for some of you here. You have children with this person, okay? You have strong beliefs that you're taking a stand and you're, you're, you're holding back. You're moving on, Six of Swords, mentally, for some of you. For some of you here, it feels like you're creating resistance. It feels like mentally you are moving forward, Six of Swords. Clearing your head here, a lot of clearing of your head here. Um, definitely this Five of Wands is a lot of people here that are around you. Could be family, friends, uh, Five of Wands. There's people here that are disagreeing with you. There's people here that have petty arguments. There's jealousy. There's gossip around you here, Cancerian. These people here, they're not agreeing with, with you, is what I feel. But I feel you're taking a stand for what are your morals. You're very disciplined. You're very self-disciplined. You're very much taking care of yourself here. There's a lot of self-healing, and this is why you start the new karmic reset here. New beginning is for you in love and ace of wands for some of you. You have two offers here coming in. For some of you, someone's rushing in to communicate with you. This is something you've been waiting for. There's an opportunity here that Jupiter is saying there's a judgment call. It'll be, the ball will be in your hands or in your court. You can have this, you can make this, but it's not going to be able to be rushed. Like rushing in to something here where there is a lot of excitement, I feel, a lot of fun. It's like going for it here, but it feels like someone's rushing in here, not thinking first. It's like not wanting to rush in. It's like this person is, is, is unstable at this time, but yet they want to rush in here. And it feels like someone's rushing in towards you, for sure, Cancer. It's like someone here could have strong Leo also here. I feel you're holding back from this person in September. I feel right in the middle here, is you are trusting this. This is the angels blessing your connection, your sacred bond. Nothing, nothing can come between the both of you here. Um, who's meant for you, you will know this. You already know this. It's like you're definitely protected in all shape, way, and form here. You have angels protecting you. I feel that there's something here that you're definitely putting your guard up here. There's someone you're blocking out. Someone here that you're moving on from because now you know you're you're definitely a stronger, wiser woman or man. You have the wisdom and you have the, the Virgo energy. You're grounding in. You're making a healthy decision here. And you're being very practical and you're investing in yourself here. There's a self-awareness here. It feels like you have a very big prophetic ability within yourself here with the strength card. You've endured blood, sweat, and tears here is what I feel. I feel for some of you here that this is relating with. I feel it's asking for inner strength here because it's also asking for you to ground yourself. It's like Houston, 
Houston. Here we go, take off. Houston, take off is heading towards you. Mars and Aries, that leads to wish fulfillment. <coughs> Someone's coming back. Someone could be a Capricorn, King of Pentacles, King of One. I swear, Cancer, for some of you, you definitely have two offers. For some of you here, someone's mastered a karmic lesson. This is one person. If this is one person, this person mastered a karmic lesson. There's healing here. Someone here has definitely got um, the energies here of stepping up to taking a chance, taking the leap of faith here that's being definitely swiftly done. Someone's coming at you here for a new beginning or this is you. That leads to long-term success, fame, fortune. This is already taken off, I feel. I feel they're coming towards you here. There's someone here that you have a karmic reset for some of you. And it's asking you, are you going to rebuild on this connection? For some of you, you are. For some of you, it leads to fame and success. You're, it's like stepping on a spiritual journey for some of you here. That you know that you have something here coming back around. It's like the season to do things by the book here, orderly. It's like rebuilding a connection. So this is, could be for some of you, like I feel, a past person, a past partner. Someone that's coming in to match your energy. Definitely. Okay. So let me get some water, Cancerian. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for the positive energy, the likes, the subscribes. Thank you, thank you. I am available for a private reading. You can email me at mysticallady333 at gmail. I am in gratitude from all of the newcomers and all of the ones who have been with me from day one. And all of my soul tribe, thank you. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. So, Cancerian, what are the messages from Wisdom of the Oracle? You're very blessed. So, they fell on the floor. Hang on. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, crazy girl. Loyal heart, number 35. Okay. There's going to be a huge change that's coming in here with this loyal heart. I feel that this connection is definitely coming in with the truth. And you got a number of 14, which is a 5 here. So, major changes. Someone's coming in here to tell the truth. This person's coming in to, to definitely open up. And TikTok, TikTok is here and to the sea. Someone here, number 30 and number seven. A completion is here. And I'm seeing the threes. So there's definitely a completion. With this three of pentacles here that you have, it's like body, mind, and spirit that you're following your gut. Some of you here are definitely following your gut. There's a lot of time. The devil, like I feel here, is the reset. Saturn rules time. It rules 32 years of karma. For some of you here, you're healing a karmic connection. Something here, like I feel here, that was definitely, it went through a transformative stage here for some of you. For some of you, it's like the ashes here, coming out of the ashes of the Scorpio, the Phoenix, um, coming back up here. And the angels are saying this is a blessed, sacred connection here. I feel that this is, for some of you, breaking free. For some of you here, you are very blessed, this union. This union is blessed and protected, okay? It was like you are the building blocks. You came here to heal. For some of you here, you belong to this soul tribe, very much so, leg up. You'll be rising. It's like you're going to be picking yourself up from whatever was here that looks like was unbalanced. or could have been a start here from scratch. 
picking yourself up now and having consolidated what's important for this next move, what yarn is going retrograde. It's going to say, like to the sea, for some of you here, you could be crossing over waters. There's relocating. Someone here could be at a distance. And with TikTok, it's like definitely the clock is ticking here in a situation here of where things can come into balance with Libra season here. It's like a give and take here, kind of an energy here um, that's coming in, I feel. I feel it's very analytical thinking here, okay? It has a, a, like a feeling of a need to free your mind here and focus on, on your goals. I feel that that's where you are, I feel Cancerian. I feel you're, you're resisting right now. You're putting away a little uh, money here. You're saving. You're doing something here by the book with the Knight of Pentacles. You've got a lot of earth that's definitely investing in yourself. You're taking things um, at, a, at a, an awareness of day-to-day. -day. It's like your day-to-day -day here, you're making very strong, firm decisions. You're very managed. I'm hearing you're, you're taking a boss, per, uh, a boss up. For some of you here in business, you're climbing the ladder. For some of you here, you're definitely entering a very successful time cancer. This leads to fame. This is your north. This is definitely Aquarian energy here where it's hope, it's faith that brings you this ten of pentacles because you have hope and faith in yourself. You know what your word is. You value yourself. And because you did a self-healing Cancerian, it leads to success and fame is for you here, my loves. So I love it here. You're a very strong woman or man. You're definitely someone here who's leading to great wealth. Prosperity is here for you. I felt at the light at the end of the tunnel, you have the passage. You see the light at the end of the tunnel now. You have a clear mind. You're thinking very analytical. This is free thinking. This is organized. This is building, rebuilding, and you're setting a core foundation. So this could mean a new home. This could mean a new business. It could be uh, something that you're purchasing. You're taking that chance on. Okay. And that's what I see. The will of fortunes here blessing you. Uh, there's definitely good luck, good fortune. New beginning for you that you start here. No more waiting. I feel the waiting is over. It's popped up. Ace of cups, ace of wands. Go for it. See ya.